Hi guys, my name is Trevor Isley, teaching that there is another way through life and it's called beamism. Today I want to be talking about happiness, fun. So, do you believe you came here to have fun? Now, let's have a look at what is entitled to fun. Where do we find fun? Most people go to the pub or they go clubbing and they believe they have fun. But I'm going to say to you, there is something far more greater than fun because you actually came here to make a difference. Now, you can make that fun if you like. That will be fun, wouldn't it? I find it fun. I enjoy having to be able to communicate with people. I find that fun. But I did used to think that fun was going out and clubbing and drinking and doing all the rest of the things that the humans do in life. But at the end of the day, that fun doesn't last for too long, does it? So do you think that when you leave here and you go into the spirit world and God says to you, wow, what did you do? And you say, well, I had some fun. Oh, what did you do with that fun? Well... I had a good old drink up, I went bingo once a week, I had fun with my family and friends and I had fun at a party once. So what is fun? What is happiness? What is contentment? Contentment and fun and happiness and peace all determines just one thing, that you came here to make a difference, to create the difference. There is no other form of why your soul came here. The soul came here to remind itself that it has a mission, a purpose, and a journey. But what is that mission and purpose? Well, it's to understand life, to heal itself away from life, and then get back into the spirit world and say, do you know what? That was fun. I really enjoyed who I was. I really enjoyed expressing who I was. So to me, that is how my journey has happened. My experience has shown me that there were far more different ways of earning fun and having a happy life. A happy life is determined by your experiences. But do you think that you hold yourself back from experiencing. Because that is one of the real reasons of why the soul came here, was to experience. But why can't it be a good experience? Why is everyone saying it's a bad experience? Why is everyone saying, oh my God, it was a struggle, and I lost myself, and I hated myself, I didn't like life, and kind of doesn't make sense sometimes, but I do understand it because I found myself in that place. And I had to question, why did I find myself in that place? It wasn't fun. There was no fun connected to feeling poor or feeling desperate or feeling suicidal. That wasn't fun. In actual fact, when I was looking at spirituality, I looked at a lot of the teachers and I went to different colleges and I tried to understand what spirituality was all about. I looked at it and I thought, none of this is fun. I don't want to get into something that isn't fun. I want to feel like I've had a fun-filled experience called life. But it wasn't fun. But what I did discover is something far more greater than that. And it was creating something that was of benefit, creating something within yourself that felt right. Now that's fun, in a sense. Fun is not about ha ha ha. It's an energy, of course, it produces a certain amount of happiness. But I had to learn what was happiness. And even in my dark days, I had to find out what was happiness. Was I happy with my dark days? No, not at first I wasn't. I hated it. I hated every part of that. And because I hated every part of that, that means I hated me. So did I put myself through that? 
Did other people put myself through that? Or did God actually put me through that? Well, I thought it was the people in the first place, so I blamed them. So that wasn't fun. But then I started to realise in the awakening and understanding that there was so much more behind me and within me, things started to look a little bit more like fun. The fun of discovering who I am. Now, it's a big challenge, I know. As I say to you, if I can do it, then you can do it. I'm no different from you. I'm just here on the planet, just the same as you are. But as I teach people, you know, get rid of that human side of yourself, it serves you no purpose, it's killing you. So, is it fun? Do you find that you came here just to have fun with somebody? Because in relationships, yeah, they're fun at first. And then after a while, I don't think they're fun. There's something else there that's going on. And the real reason of why you meet a relationship is because of an injury. And that's not fun. So I needed to change my awareness, my level of consciousness of the people that I was meeting because this wasn't fun. Even the friends that I had, I don't think they were fun. I just think they were somebody that you met on a journey. So what is fun? What is happiness? What did you come here to create? Well, I say a better world. I say a better you, that's for sure. And if you can create a better you from your programming that you grew up with, then you've done very well. To me, that is what you would call spirituality, because spirituality is about discovering the self, discovering the spirit of, but not only just of yourself, but of the planet, the spirit of a bird, the spirit of a blade of grass, the spirit of an antelope, the spirit of a deer, the spirit of an ant. Everything has a spirit. Now, we already know that scientists are telling us that we are 99.99999% empty space. So isn't that spirit somewhere along the line? Because if the physical form breaks down, isn't that empty space? So isn't spirit empty space? Of course it is. So when this all falls away and you have the energy of, energy is empty space. That to me is spiritual. Now that's fun. Trying to discover who I am, I think that's fun. Trying to understand the challenges in life, I think that is also fun. But what I didn't like is the way that I was treating myself. That wasn't fun. Being a spiritual teacher, at some point, wasn't fun. Learning about beamism from my spirit guides, that wasn't fun. But as I've worked with it, and as I've adapted it, I realised that I didn't come here for fun. I come here to make a difference. And that responsibility is very high. There's no real fun in that where I would ha ha ha, you know, laugh my head off over the things that I do. Everyone thinks somebody falling down the stairs is fun. We all laugh at that. Where in actual fact, that's ridiculous. That's bad. But we do find it funny sometimes. We didn't come here for fun. We come here to make a difference. And beamism is not about finding fun. It's about finding yourself. It's about feeling the true self. And it's about being the true self. And once you can find that, and then you can understand that life is an enjoyment. That you can understand it because you've broken the barriers of being a human being. And if you can break them barriers, it's a beautiful feeling. Because the one thing that you're searching for isn't fun. You are searching for only one feeling, and it's called a feeling. So ask yourself, how do you want to feel? Is it a feeling of fun? Or is it just the feeling of something more than that?
I say it's a feeling more than that. Being a creator, being an artistic being, I used to think, what can I create? What is artistic enough for me to create? And of course it was hair and makeup. But now when I look at it, Barbie doll. Serves no purpose. There's nothing creative about it. But I used to think it was. But then my soul said to me, how about creating something so much more? So much more that it's going to get you to understand why you came here in the first place. And it's not fun. You came here to create. You came here to witness. You came here to understand the mess that humans have gotten themselves into and the direction that they are taking. This is why there is a massive awakening on the planet. That awakening is shouting at you and saying, what are you doing? Wake up. That is not fun. So, I know you're all looking for fun, but don't trick yourself. Don't give yourself the illusion that life is about fun just because you've had fun moments in your life. Because you will determine your life by what was fun and what wasn't fun. And trust me on this one, you have a lot more that wasn't fun. So you're determining life by that word called happiness. Sometimes we're happy, sometimes wasn't. And of course, it all produces a feeling. So therefore, you will determine the whole of your life in your happy moments and your not so happy moments. But why should we have to do that? It doesn't make sense. Why can't life have more meaning and purpose? So therefore, I delved into the bad times and I delved into the good times and I tried to figure out the whole of it. And the whole of it meant that I was the common denominator, for good or for bad. It was called my life. So by dealing and delving into the darkness of who you are, that become fun. Healing become fun. Miracles become fun. I found an excitement there. I found a fascination there. And I found the potential to be able to understand that there is so much more behind me. There is so much more of me. But I needed to understand it wasn't just about fun. It was about living. And it was about understanding. And it was about finding myself. And if you can understand what I'm saying to you, it can be fun. And it can be happy. And you will feel so contented with yourself because the best job that you can ever give 100% to is finding the true self of who you are. My name is Trevor Rousley, teaching beings that there is a new way, and it's called beamism, and I'll see you on the other side.